MixTV.TV presents the MixTV Southeast Tennessee Football Spotlights presented by Life Care Centers of America. Join us as we look at the upcoming 2022 season and share in-depth interviews with coaches and players. Welcome back to the Mixed TV Southeast Tennessee Football Spotlights presented by Life Care Centers of America. Today we will be spotlighting the Hurricanes of East Hamilton and their football team. The Hurricanes compete in D1 Class 4A in Region 3 and they are entering their 14th season in program history, a relatively young program. All time they are 75 and 71, that is a 51% winning percentage and last season's successful season vaulted them over the 500 mark for the first time in school history. They have zero state titles and they have an all-time district record of 49 wins to just 33 losses. They're looking for their eighth winning season ever, but they are looking for their fourth straight, so a lot of success here recently. They're seeking their 10th playoff appearance. They are 7-9 and all-time in playoff matchups. We mentioned the recent success. Since 2018, East Hamilton is 23-11. and Last season, East Hamilton went 8-3 and, and were 5-1 and in district play. Their offense was stellar last season. They scored 39 points per game and scored six or more touchdowns in five of their matchups. Last season, East Hamilton also set a school record for largest margin of victory, beating Sequoia by 70 points. They also had two regular season losses last year, and each loss was by one point. So East Hamilton was about four points away from having an undefeated regular season. Last season they were upset at home though in the first round of the playoffs by DeKalb County. They lost that game by two touchdowns. Their head, the head man for East Hamilton is Grant Reynolds who is entering his fourth season. He's only the second coach in school history. Reynolds has enjoyed a 16 year coaching career compiling a very impressive all time record of 131 wins to only 62 losses. He started his head coaching career at Boyd Buchanan where he spent 10 seasons at Boyd before heading to Alabama and spending three years at Madison Academy, which is right outside of Huntsville. And then East Hamilton has called him home and he is entering his fourth season. At East Hamilton, I mentioned, we mentioned since 2018, East Hamilton is 23 and 11. 2018 was head coach Reynolds' first season. At Boyd, he had five 10 plus winning, win seasons and only lost three district games in 10 years. He has not had a losing season at East Hamilton, but he has yet to achieve a 10 win season. Moving on to East Hamilton's schedule, they will open at Udawa, who they beat last season. They have not enjoyed success against Udawa all time with only two wins in 10 matchups. They will then host Heritage from Georgia for their first meeting all time before traveling to East Ridge, who they handled last year and they have a winning record all time against. And then they will host Sequoia. As I mentioned, they beat by 70 last year. They have never lost to Sequoia all time. They will then have their bye week five weeks into the season before, before traveling three straight games. They will travel to McMinn County, to Chat Central, and to Soddy Daisy. They lost to McMinn County by one point last year, but beat Chat Central and Soddy Daisy pretty handily. They will then host Friendship Christian Academy, a school they will be playing for the first time ever, and then they will end their, game, end their season hosting Red Bank, who they lost to last year by one point, and Hickson, who they have enjoyed a lot of success against. They won last year, and they have nine wins in 11 meetings. With that being said, we're going to head over and speak with the head man at East Hamilton, Grant Reynolds. We are here with head East Hamilton coach Grant Reynolds and coach just to jump right in last season was your third straight winning season How do you sort of build off the success you've had in the recent? Years well, we, we've had some good players the last few years and and we just want to continue that success and go a little bit deeper in the playoffs each year So what is sort of? three straight winning seasons do for the culture of its program? Well, it gets more kids out for football. You know, we've had we've had more kids come out than we've had before. It creates some excitement in the community and our community is behind us, you know, and, and our program and everything and uh, just makes things fun. So last season, a tough loss for you guys in the first round of the playoffs at home. Is that one of those that you sort of forget about or is that one that you guys are kind of bringing a chip on your shoulder into this season with? I think the guys kind of have a chip on their shoulder, you know, to try to go deeper in the playoffs than what we have been the last couple of years and, you know, and make, make that run where you're playing late into November. So you guys graduated some really good seniors, obviously Flemings. I mean, just a stud going to Austin P. went crazy at Spring Fling, just a great athlete for you guys. But what do seniors like him and others do for the program? You know, I, th I think they uh, they set good examples for the other kids. You know, when, when we have guys like that that have good character, that play hard, they set good examples. The other kids want to emulate that. 
So who are some guys that have sort of stepped up to fill the holes that have been left on the roster? Well, we got Juan Bowler to running back. Lake Clark is our, our quarterback that's back this year. Uh, Kyrese Willis plays defense for us. And uh, we've got some offensive linemen back. Caleb Ledesma, our center, is back. So we got some guys that are stepping up and filling some of those gaps. So, so far this this early season, how have you guys looked in practices and seven on sevens and scrimmages? I think, you know, we've been getting better each each practice, each week during the summer and leading into the season. That's kind of how you want to be is trending in that direction. And, you know, working against quality programs like Cleveland is only going to make us better. So what are your biggest keys to just coming out and having another successful season? I think staying healthy, you know, making sure that our kids understand it's a team sport, you know, and we want to play together as a team and, and just win. And lastly, just how excited are you that it's finally football season? It's pretty exciting. It seems like it's been a long time, you know, since we've been able to strap on the pads and get to going. So I'm, I'm really excited it's football season. All right. This has been head man of the East Hamilton Hurricanes, Grant Reynolds. Now we're going to send it back to the station. The Hurricanes will open their season on Friday, August 19th at Udawa High School. That game will start at 730. This concludes our Mixed TV Southeast Tennessee Football Spotlight presented by Life Care Centers of America. I'm Ryan Lovelace, and hopefully we will see you next time right here at MixedTV.tv.